Hey everyone, I'm here to talk about another knife. Uh, this is one of my... Oh, something weird happened with the camera just then. Anyways, another one of my favorites. Uh, I guess I just love all my knives. They're all my favorite. But anyways, this is the Ojimbo 2 by Spyderco. Now, this version in particular is the carbon fiber version. Uh, it's a little fancy for me, but my girlfriend got it for me for our one year anniversary. Real sweet, right? Yeah. But anyways, uh, it's an awesome knife, and I'm not just saying that because she got it for me and because she might watch this video, but because it's just a, a really good utility knife, and it's really good for EDC for someone who wants a knife that looks nice, that's lightweight, and uh, is comfortable to carry. So I don't have any other carbon fiber knives, but I really feel a significant difference in this knife um, in terms of the weight. Um, but that could also be because I'm used to carrying uh, knives with a little bit longer blades. This blade right here is just a little bit over 3 inches, I think 3.1 is what they say uh, online here. I've had it for now uh, almost a month, so I feel like I could give you a pretty good review on it. I've just been e EDCing it almost every day for the past month, uh, mostly because I want to be able to give you a good review. Um, I haven't done anything too crazy with this knife. I busted off some zip ties, uh, it's probably about the heaviest duty thing I've done with this knife. But as you can see, no problems with the blade. The blade looks a lot like the Ronin. Um, however, this blade, the style at least, looks a lot like the Ronin, which I've re previously reviewed. But this blade is a little bit thicker than the Ronin. Uh, the Ronin is, super, is a lot thinner than this, and this blade is a lot, little bit smaller in length than the Ronin. But I think this makes a great uh, folder for a fixed blade. It's got the back lock here, which I've just demonstrated, so you don't have to worry about um, closing your fingers in the knife when you close it. Uh, everyone loves the back lock there. Bam, it's a little bit safer. Um, easy as heck to uh, spider flick out. Um, didn't take any break in time. I just love to cut uh, the blade design and, and just how it cuts um, through paper, through boxes, through tape. It's just super nice. Kind of reminds me of a box cutter. And it's super nice to just grip up on right here. I usually grip up on it like so. Um, it's just a great all-around knife. You got that uh, 20 CV steel, which is excellent for edge retention and rust resistance. Um, it very comparable to S30V. A lot of people say it's not as heavy duty as S30V, but uh, I haven't noticed any difference in uh, how this knife performs with this steel as opposed to S30V, which is in a lot of my other spider Um This is also just a very beautiful knife. It's just. A little bit too nice for me because I'm kind of rough and tough on my knives, but my girlfriend, like I said, my girlfriend got this for me, so it's it's nicer. Um, it's a little bit high end on the on the budget. I think it goes on for Blade HQ about two thirty, um, two hundred thirty bucks. Uh, I mean, uh, I can't believe she spent that much money on it, but it is really nice. If you're going out and you're dressing nice and you want to look good and carry EDC, I definitely recommend this knife. Uh, looking at it online, the pictures don't do it justice at how, how nice the carbon fiber is and just really how nice it fits it into your hand. Um, I'm going to show you real quick how I EDC this knife. Like I said in a previous video, it's summer here in Colorado, so it's warm, so I've been wearing gym shorts around mostly. So I'm going to show you how I EDC this knife in my gym shorts, alright? Give me a sec. Alright, so when I'm wearing gym shorts and I want to EDC a knife, clip is not deep pocket carry on this clip, so the tip usually sticks out in your pockets or in your gym shorts, but it's the knife itself is small enough, probably a little bit over four inches, that it fits in your gym shorts really easy. Now, I don't carry it in my pockets when I'm wearing gym shorts. I usually carry it in my waistband, like right where my uh, stomach and uh, leg meet, like my hip area. And it just fits real nice in there, like so. Fits real easy right there. Throw the shirt over, you can't see anything, no one notices. You gotta take it out, reach in their waistband, pull it out, easy. Put it back. Alright, so you wanna put it back after you're using it, bam. Just grab your waistband. Put it in there. Take it out. Great knife, like I was saying. Super easy to use. Use the ice pick grip here for self defense. I think this knife was designed specifically for self defense. Slash, uh, you 
could even stab the tip is super 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 sharp oh wow yeah the tip is this is probably one of the sharpest knives that i own honestly this thing is just here let me just see if i can show you shaving some hairs off my head here probably see a little few hairs right there yep yeah, look at that that's wild look at that those hairs coming right off there this is this is after using it for about a month it's incredible hey ghost what are you doing you're gonna hurt yourself bud but anyway as you can see the hairs came clean off there all right anyways i hope you liked the review the action on the knife is super smooth great buy it's a little bit on the pricey end, but if you want a classy knife that you're going to carry around because you dress nice all the time, highly recommend it. Alright, anyways, take care until the next vid.